Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Gaming Linux. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick video, uh, this isn't my full video of Dying Light yet, but I just thought I'd show you guys uh, a way to improve your performance on it. Uh, I got this fixed thanks to GamingOnLinux.com. These guys have just posted a, a, an article on how to improve the performance on it, uh, since there's these loads of fancy little things which try and improve how the game looks and stuff. But to be honest, we don't like that sort of stuff, we want to get rid of that, so I'll open a new tab to make sure I remember where it is. So you want to go to your home, uh, as you can see here, um, open your hidden files, uh, so you should come across .steam, uh, and then steam again, steam apps. <coughs> Uh, let's have a look here. What was it? Yeah, your common, and you want to find dying light. As you can see, it's all there, right there. So DW, uh, and in here you should have data zero pack. And what I did with this is I moved it into, uh, sorry, I would have moved it into out, as you can see there, uh, and open with archive manager, extract it, and what it would do is get data here, and. As you can see, there's a lot of files you want to find through data. This is all that was uh, extracted from that fi file just then. Uh, and it was actually in scripts. And it's, let's have a look. It was var list, uh, as you can see here, var list underscore performance dot ser. So it finds that var list uh, underscore performance, uh, performance, underscore performance. Uh, oh, that's p, var list underscore p, performance ser. There you go. Uh, you want to open that bad boy up and it opens these little guys here and <coughs> as you can see there's a few things you want to change maybe uh, one, one of the main things uh, was eyeshadow sun on that it was originally on one but I've turned that to zero and eye cloud such cloud shadows on so you can turn that off as well if you want you can mess with all of these if you want to improve your frame rate but for now I just took off uh, eye shadows sun on and I changed that from one to zero easy and I'll show you the game now uh, the game still has bugs and stuff that it wants fixing, and also the video might also decrease the uh, the frame rate. Uh, as you can see in the top left corner, I'm only getting 20 frames per second, uh, whereas a moment ago I was getting 30 to 40 FPS, um, which was a massive improvement from the constant 15 FPS. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of zombies and stuff. Um, it does obviously turn this, the graphics down. Uh, I will make a full video once you sort out the bugs. As you can see, like uh, if I hold Q, uh, which is the survivor's instinct, if I can actually find something that's <laughs> worth looking at. <coughs> Seems there isn't anything. Oh! Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> Got owned. Uh, so as you can see, it's a big yellow thing when you, once you use the survivor's instinct, it sort of shows. Uh, Things that are. Oh, oh god, god, damn it! Oh, that was horrible. Shows things that are uh, of use, uh, but it shows a big yellow thing, which is a bit annoying. Uh, also, the when I hold tab for the weapons uh, circle, it seems to like freeze the game, which isn't very good. And and what else is uh When you talk to people out of cutscenes, uh, the mouths don't move. Uh, which is pretty strange. Obviously, like I say, in cutscenes they do work because it's a cutscene. Um, but yeah, if you know, I bought this game knowing that there was performance issues. Uh, I wanted to help it towards because I, I bought it on Linux, thought I'd buy it on Linux and uh, get them statistics up, make us look better. So uh, apparently, these issues aren't just Linux related either. So yeah, it's, it is on Windows as well, but. You know, it hasn't been optimized properly. That that is the case, sadly. Uh, so hopefully, uh, it won't take long for them to fully sort this game out, uh, to have it running to its full potential. And hopefully, uh, I'm gonna stop it from running like crap even when I'm recording. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I can release a full video soon of this game running great inside Linux. Uh, that's my plan in the future. Um, until then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it sorted out some of your problems. And thank you to GameGunLinux.com uh, and Liam for uh, showing me, showing everyone, sorry, this how to resolve some issues. Uh, if I can actually quit. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, peace out.